we've got to learn how to earn money. And most people don't know how to earn money. Most people think you go to work to earn money. Anybody can become a billionaire if that's what you want to do. We are programmed to live a certain way. Stop and think of how few people um, are really well off. Three, four, five percent maximum, if that. And 95% are struggling. And these are, some of these are really bright people. They teach us all kinds of stuff that's, a lot of it's useless. But they don't teach us about how to earn money. And money is a medium of exchange that's negotiable all over the world, you know. In uh, The Science of Getting Rich, the chapter on, on gratitude, in energy said the entire process of mental adjustment and atonement can be summed up in one word, gratitude. Whenever you feel yourself troubled, that's a mental problem. The entire process of mental adjustment, you need a mental adjustment. Sit down and write out what you're grateful for. You'd be amazed what it does to you. Gratitude hooks you up to your source of supply. It opens a channel for good to come into your life. You cannot feel bad when you're thinking of what you're grateful for. Well, your mind and body is in a vibration, and that's controlled by your thoughts. You activate cells in your brain, your mind activates cells, that sets up a vibration in the mind and body, and the vibration you set up is gonna dictate what you attract. If you're troubled and you're in a bad mood, you're gonna attract bad stuff to you. You're on a negative frequency. So as long as you stay in that bad vibration, you're gonna attract some more bad stuff. It's just gonna keep coming. And you see it happening all the time to people. The trick is really to keep yourself feeling good. Feeling is conscious awareness of vibration. The vibration is the basic law. And if you stay feeling good in a good vibration, you're gonna attract good stuff. You just magnetize yourself to stuff that's good. You are attracting what you're in harmony with. You cannot have bad without good. And if you want to feel good, start looking for what's good. And if you start looking for what's good, you're going to find it. You're going to find whatever you're looking for. And the idea to say, well, you really can't, there's so much bad going on, that attitude is not going to reward you at all. It's going to give you bad stuff. You've got to know that there's always something good. When you're feeling good, you're in a good vibration, you're going to attract good stuff to you. The truth is not many people understand money. Very few. U.S. Anderson said, thought is the preamble to everything. He said, when we fully realize that thought causes all, we'll know there's never any limits that we ourselves don't impose. Everything starts in thought. So if you want order with money, it starts here. Relationship starts here. Your business starts here. So it all starts in your mind. And the problem is, Lewis, hardly anybody understands the mind. And it's something that can be understood. I, oddly enough, mind is movement. Mind's not a thing. Your brain isn't your mind any more than your toenail is. Your brain is an electronic switching stations. Um, mind is movement. Body is a manifestation of that movement. So if you just stand and just observe a person, you'll get a hell of a good idea of what's going on in their mind. But everything starts in the mind. So whatever benefit or any, any good that you want, um, that's where it starts. You gotta start to understand it, study it. And I think the best thing to do there is to go to somebody that really understands it. Ask for help, learn, go to the best. The truth is most people don't think. If the average person said what they were thinking, they would be speechless. And I'm inclined to agree with them. If you listen to most people, what they're saying, it's fairly obvious they're not thinking or they'd never say what they're saying. Or stand back and watch what they're doing. They'd never do what they were doing if they're thinking. Just move into action, don't think. It's not too late. Because when you think of the good you can do with it, no, it's never too late. It's never. And anyone can learn how to earn money. The secret to wealth is have multiple sources of income. You don't have one, you have all kinds of them. 
I mean, you can earn more money when you're sleeping than you could spend when you're awake. We don't, we don't really know very much about money at all. He said, in every situation, between the situation and your response, there's a space. It might only be a millisecond, but in that space, you have the ability to choose how you're going to react or respond. When you react, whatever you're reacting to is in control of you, whether it's another person, a condition, or a circumstance. When you respond to the same thing, you stay in control. We've got to learn to willingly give and graciously receive. Find out what their philosophy is about money. Frequently, if I start to work with somebody, one of the first things I ask them is what the most they've ever earned in a year. I don't really care what the answer is, but I want to know what the answer is, because that'll tell me where their paradigm is with respect to money. Money has absolutely no power other than what we give it. First of all, money is a, is a piece of paper with ink on it. We give it the value. Almost all the books, I've got a number of them here, um, on money, they don't talk much about money. They talk about, it's the attitude, it's the, uh, it's the programming, it's how you utilize, how, use the money. If a person's income is not continually growing, then it's dying. Our income should be continually growing. And I think you should always want to earn more. Not to have it, but to be able to use it, but it's going to cause you to reach. To earn more, you have to provide more. Money is a reward received for service rendered, so you've got to provide more service. So whatever you're doing, you've got to do it better than you're now doing it. Well, the earning of money is, is an exact science, and it's, it's governed by law. The amount of money you earn is in direct ratio to the need for what you do, your ability to do it, and the difficulty there is in replacing you. So if a person, if there's a great need for what a person's doing, then they've got to get really good at it. So you never stop getting better at it. You're good at what you do. Why would I want to do anything else? And that's what I said to him. You get satisfaction from what you do and what you love to do. So every day when I get up to go to work, I'm doing what I love doing.